Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here. I've had the idea that I wanted a navy blue or dark blue planner and I've been searching online for ages and couldn't find one exactly what I wanted because I'm very much into the soft cover planners and I'm also needing at least a 30 mil ring size. So finding a planner that suits all that criteria is not as easy as you might think. So I had this planner in my collection. It's a Filofax Domino soft cover, something like that. Anyway, it's a very plain, very basic Filofax. It's, it's one of the cheaper ones. Like this one only cost me about $50, which I mean, I know it's still a lot of money, but when you compare it to my Molden Filofax, the gray one is up near the three, four hundred dollar mark now. So yeah, they're not cheap. This one I believe is a faux leather and because it's like only $50, I figured I'm gonna try it. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But yeah, I decided to paint this one because I'm not really keen on this color anymore. Like it's nice, uh, I like the colour in general, but just not for one of my planners. So I bought this paint off eBay. It is the Angelus brand. It's a dark blue, it's an acrylic leather paint. So this sort of paint is suitable for leather and faux leather. So that is why I got it. And it's a little bit more flexible than your regular acrylic paint. So, you know, when the, when there's movement in the planner, it's not going to crack like regular acrylic paint might. So this cost me about oh, roughly $15, I think it was, off eBay for a 29.5 mil bottle. So nearly a 30 mil bottle. And that should be more than enough to paint this planner. So, yeah, I'm not going to chat anymore. Let's just jump right in. All right, guys, well, it's the next day. I've let it dry and I gave this probably about three, three or four coats till I got the finish that I wanted. 
So I wanted, I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but you can sort of see some lighter patches and some darker patches. I wanted that sort of grungier, I don't know what you would call it, like a mottled sort of appearance. And uh, I'm super happy with the way it's come out. And it's still very soft, very pliable. It's The, the paint has covered really, really well. Uh, I'm stoked actually and to think I was actually going to get rid of this planner because I just didn't like the colour and like you could see in the film I did a dabbing effect so that I got that bit of a mottled look to it obviously if you want a smooth even finish to yours then just do either even brush strokes or even strokes with your foam applicator the more paint you added the darker it went so I kind of you know dabbed it a little bit more uh, a few more coats along the outer sides and just sort of left little patches a little bit lighter but yeah super super stoked even the string I did the string the same color but yeah really really happy and all I'm going to do now is just um maybe use a little bit of either nail polish remover or the tea tree oil just to get it off the off the metal here it comes off quite easy but what I want to do before I do that is I'm just going to get some beeswax furniture polish and I'm just going to rub it in just to condition it, protect the paint a little bit and give it a bit of a, a sheen to it. I'm just going to rub some of this over it. It's just stunning. I love it. I'm so, so happy with it. I was really, like, I wasn't really reluctant to try it because I just figured, well, I was going to get rid of it anyway. So if I stuffed it up, I wasn't too concerned. But oh, I'm just so happy now. So there you go, guys. Definitely try it. If you have a planner or have a bag or a wallet or something that you really just, you like it, but it's just not your colour anymore, just try it. The Angelus Leather Paint. Uh, they've got a range of different colours, like every colour under the sun. And yeah, give it a go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. And I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.